Welcome to Z Reviews. And welcome to the review of the SVS PC4000. I want to say Ultra, but there's no Ultra. Uh, that track is from Psychopass. That is track six. It's all Japanese. I can't read it. Anyway, um, you guys are going to be hearing a mixture of my headphone recording rig using the Rode M5s, which I've had to really tweak to get them to not distort. Uh, I, the PB16 Ultra, there was distortion literally in it, and then I had a fan buffeting issue. So I'm doing my best to try to keep this as clean as possible. I've turned up the sensitivity on that. I've lowered the volume down. I'm actually gonna be calm and collected and my floor is gonna squeak and it's gonna sound amazing. Um, yeah, so SVS sent me this and I request, they said, hey, we have the new series, the PC series. And they have a standard box sealed, a standard box ported, and then this one, which is a tube subwoofer or a cylindrical subwoofer, however you wanna call it. If it's a tube, it's from the internet or it is the internet. And I requested this style because I've never heard one of their subs like this. And also, for a very good reason, this is the first SVS sub I've got to play with that's down firing. And up ported. If you look here, there are our ports. Here is our manhole. I mean, Jesus, this thing is like... So I've got one port stuffed because it comes with three ports. You could either plug them all Leave them all open or plug one. If you plug one, you tell the DSP correction there that you've got one plugged and you're able to attain 15 hertz with this. And let's just, I'll read some specs that I've memorized. It's 92 pounds. I know it's hardly even worth doing a review at 92 pounds. It's, it's why even bother? I mean, what, 1200 watts RMS and 4000 peak? It's, it's just not even worth reviewing. It's so small, not even 100 pounds. 13 and a half inch down firing driver, which we will lean this over in a bit and I'll show you that. Let's um. Yeah, we'll get there in a second. The finish on it is interesting because it isn't actually finished, it's fabric. If you look, if I can actually get it to like pinch up, this is just wrapped in basically a well, I think it's speaker grill material, which is a good idea because a cylinder usually doesn't take well to vinyl wrap or anything like that. My biggest concern was uh, Chewbacca, my cat, who's around here somewhere. I thought she was going to use this as the world's most expensive scratching post. Because if you click the link in the description, you'll see how much this scratching post costs. Um, so yeah, $1,200. Let me see. Uh, 15 hertz, 92 pounds, 1,200, 4,000, 13 and a half, and then the price is I $1,800. Wait, let me, let me whisper that to this. The price is $1,800. And you can get two and save $200. So, um, yeah, not cheap. I love how squeaky my floor is. It's super authentic. What is this summer for like? I'll tell you what the subwoofer is like. I've reviewed several SVS in the past, and this is the most striking to look at. Usually you could hide a sub, like there's my Rhythmic. It's just in the corner. And you know, things that's, this is blatantly here. Like I've had to remove this, this front wheel from my bike just to put it in the sweet spot, because this is the sweet spot. And you'll see I've extended the recording rig back perfectly to where the head would be if the couch was a little bit further forward, because that's, this is where it needed to be, I, I trust me. So I'm putting it on music. I've got my surround receiver set. I've got the crossover point at 40 hertz. I'm using these Yamo uh, S809s. Um, they're getting crossover at 40 hertz, that's taking over. No sound. No. I'd love to play John Coltrane, but there's gonna be no test of the low end. I currently have that's subwoofer for on zero, maximum volume attainable. I've got the receiver 
at plus 10, which is going to have to be changed when I put on movies. But for music, I always find you need to bump the uh, subwoofer up more. And luckily, SVS includes a remote control and there is an app you can get. I don't have it on my phone currently, but if you want to see me dick through that app for about four hours, I will link it, the Google Play or the Play Store, uh, the App Store page in the description. And it lets you choose through a whole series of options. I'll just run through what we got. Volume, uh, low pass filter, phase, which is uh, plus or minus 180, 80. Polarity, parametric equalization, uh, room gain compensation. Uh, there's a tuning function, which is the count of the ports. And then you can set up the presets. Now here, one of the better parts about the SVS subs is the remote. The app is great. But honestly, nine times out of 10, I'm just gonna pick this thing up and say, no, 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 louder, quieter, now switch presets. So you get three presets. You also get to shut off the blue, fucking blue, blue screens. We should sit down next to it. Thank you, Periapt, for making me this crazy long cable. Um, I've got it on furniture sliders so that I might manipulate it rather easily. So the back of it's got power, main power switch. It has balanced inputs and outputs, so you can run XLRs if you're doing, I don't know, I guess you'd be doing pro mixing on this. I doubt it. Um, I should have run XLRs in and out and hooked it up to a nice set of monitors. But um, you got your 12 volt trigger input, so you can have this click on when your receiver goes on or anything you have with that. If I, I don't want to unplug that in case it pops. But you've got line uh, level inputs here left and right and line level outputs left and right and that's basically it it's relatively plain there's no knobs there's no switches there's nothing to play well there's one switch but there's nothing to play with back here all the fun stuff happens when you get down i'm gonna have to do it i don't want to do it but i have to do it oh here we go hi so you have a uh, four-way selector here. Music, custom, saved, oh God. Preset, tuning, so we've got a tuning, standard, extended, or sealed. Uh, we're gonna set it to extended, which is the one port closed. Room gain compensation, you could turn on and off. And there are more settings in the app, parametric EQ. Again, it's only showing you one, two, three, so you could leave those alone. Polarity is positive or negative. And then the phase, you could choose any amount of phase between zero and it should go all up to 180. We're gonna be here a while. Hey, look, it's Nito Botvac and where he lives. Hi, Nito Botvac. I shouldn't have started this. We're in this for the long haul. People who know Zero Views know he's going to lay on the floor and hold that button down until it goes 180 degrees. And then I'm going to load the preset that's going to switch it back to zero. Which is how I've been testing it. There you go. Back. Low pass filter. I do not need a low pass filter simply because I'm being pushed through my receiver which is doing all the low pass. And the volume which I have maxed. The only SVS logo is here at the bottom too which is... Interesting because you literally can't see anything down here. We are, we are eight inches off my floor. Anything falling out of my pockets? We are eight inches off my floor, so that's great and terrible. If you have the app, you don't need to see the screen at all. But if you're human, you're gonna wanna see it. And you could just, you know, volume down, volume up. This is a very limited range. If I walk over here, there's, it still works, but if I'm just, like that's working and that's not working. So you have to be like James Bond, laser shoot at that. So you can go through all those same settings here. You can just shut off the front indicator. I know you guys want to hear it go. Oh, Phil Collins. Does it actually get like...
Now I have it up probably a little bit more than I'd use if I was just sitting here playing with it because I'm demoing it for the review. But uh, when we get to the movies, I'm gonna really have to touch with it, or touch it, or massage it, because I have no idea what's about to happen. Um, let's see, what else? That's, that's basically it. I've described the specs. I've shown you the unit. It's, it's wrapped in fabric. The top's where you got the ports. I can lay it on its face and show you this, the base. Show you the actual driver. And then I'm going to go into describing what the problems are with owning this subwoofer. And they are many. Mostly, um, house renovations, city council meetings, uh, things that get you out of jail. Now I was told also by SVS, because I asked them specifically, can you lay this down? Like I'm, I'm running it vertical because it, it is designed to run vertical. But SVS said, do I have a, like a blanket or a pillow? SVS has told me you can just, just do this. Just take it and lay it down. And as long as it doesn't roll away, you can run this subwoofer like this. There's no detriment to the actual design. Oh God, I was close. I'm sure it's gonna be loaded with a This is fine. This is a Z review. This is how things go down. It's turned into something from an Indiana Jones movie where it could at any moment just roll and kill us. Uh, ooh. All right, hold on. I got this. Zeus got. Oh, that was bad. Zeus is gonna sacrifice his surround remote as a chalk. Remember, it's down there. We're just here to look at the back. God damn it! All right, there you go. I mean that. That is filled, thick, heavy surround. Here are the um. They actually SVS sells these. These are their uh, air cushion, or they're not air. Filled. They're just super gel uh, feet that you could add to any of their subwoofers and it will uh, isolate it from the floor, which is not going to stop the neighbors from complaining, but can't hurt. So yeah, there's no grill down here. There's nothing protecting it. And I'm pretty sure the excursion is going to go past this line. And let's see if I could actually unpause music. Do I have that remote? Am I sitting on it? Aren't these fun? Ooh, Tron OST. I know exactly which struck. Put on. Wait, wait. Oh, I definitely hear the mics distorting. Yeah, anyway. Uh, uh, the driver moves. Can, can we all agree that the, the driver moves? Oh my god. Am I peaking this? I am peaking this. That's... I need to lower... Volumes need to go down. Okay. It's only 90-something pounds. Come here. Uh. We're good. We're good. It's it's good. We're totally good. Yeah, so let's lower that now because that's way more intense low end. All right, is that enough low end demonstration? One more track from this, D-Rez. The Glitch Mog remix of it. I am, all right, let's talk about the type of low end this throws, because I could talk, talk about, oh, it's great, it throws low end. What's different about this than every other standard SVS sub that I've reviewed? And I say standard with giant fucking air quotes, because there's nothing standard about an SVS sub. They're all stupid. This one is different because it's down firing. Because I've reviewed, I don't know, 10 subs on this channel now. At this point, oh, it's on its own power cord. That explains it. And they've pretty much all been front firing. That's fine. 
I have no problem with front firing is fine. You front firing with down port, but down firing, that means there's a physical mass throwing itself down. And to exacerbate that, they basically put, and this thing is a pain in the dick when you really attach it, to exacerbate what I'm talking about, these essentially become jets that shoot it into the ground. And when you fill one, those are even stronger jets. So I'm producing 15 hertz and shaking this 100 pound or 92 pound, lightweight 92 pound thing up and down like that. And that's a completely different ballpark, ruinous thing than even the PB-16 Ultra. The PB-16 Ultra, I had no problem pushing it to maximum and I was like, oh my God, is that window gonna break? Oh my God, woo! This one, I legitimately am worried about things. I, I've, but right before this review, right before this review, I had this table over there and I'm standing with my drill, uh, fixing that track light because the track lights just shake at high volume. And I think it's not doing it. I haven't heard it in the re audio recorder because I am wearing my, um, wow, it's so much quieter without the echo. I am wearing my Ether C flows to do the monitoring on this. And I really don't need it now, but I was hearing the distortion in the microphone, so I probably will leave these on. But um, yeah, this is an acoustical nightmare for anyone with a house that isn't specifically designed for home theater. If you buy one of these, just like any other SVS sub, or though more so than those, there's a good chance you're gonna spend two months, and I'm not joking, finding rattles. Like I know I have to close my bathroom door fully till it clicks. Because if it's not clicked, the, the door will rattle. And I know that track light would rattle on certain things. And then I got all my glass bottles, all the liquor over there. And I know if I don't push those together, they'll rattle. And I'm finding new rattles every time SVS sends me a subwoofer. And this one, um, there's no helping the rattles. Now i am got the recorder up a little bit more sensitive than I did last time which lets me play this at a quieter volume or else you would just hear distortion. And unless you want to hear just <laughs> then this is what's going to have to go down. So it should be good. Now I'm going to leave that maxed. I think I'm done with music. Let's go right to movies. Let's pick a movie. I, I, I say let's pick a movie. You know which movie you want to watch. However, since I have everything set up insane, like too high, I don't want to blow... How's that sound with good microphones? I don't want to blow things up. So we're going to lower this. Oh, uh, you see what I just did? You see what I'm holding this? I've done this uh, 47 times. I pick it up and I, I, I have it backwards. And I don't know what it is. If the letter T needs, like I like the way it designed better that way. So I'm going to lower this from zero to negative 40. You heard me, negative 40. All right, now let's open up. And I'm not going to bring down my projection screen. Yes, everyone, I have a very small screen. No, my neighbors will not kill me because that's a double brick wall to a building that has offices and maybe one apartment. And that's businesses. And the other person, I don't know, they might have died. I haven't seen any flies. There, that's 40 decibels down. Minimize this. Do I not have it opened? I have shows. Oh, I'm gonna watch Worst Westworld. Anyone wanna watch Westworld? Oh God, no. We're gonna go to movies. Now, my perfectly legal set of movies here. Uh, we're, are we going straight to it? Are we going straight to Edge of Tomorrow? Is that the thing? I guess you're all here. Why is that not clicking over into a surround sound mode? Why am I getting no audio? Interesting. This might be a pause scenario. Let me see something. Oh, I know why. I've got to close FUBAR and then reopen it tomorrow. There we go. There we go. DTS HD Master. Fifteen on that. 
Now this should be very gentle at negative 40. Yeah, hardly anything happening right now. I say that and yet those are bottles rattling on my table. Okay. It's fine. That's it's it's all gonna be fine. Jesus, we're not, it's not gonna be fine at all, is it? Um So let's put this up to ten and we'll raise that to thirty. Anybody see that? Holy sh! I didn't think that was gonna happen. Like I, I knew it was gonna do a thing, but I didn't think it was gonna do that. I don't think it distorted, so I'm gonna leave it at that exact volume. Take my headphones off. And um, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. Here it comes. Over again. Wait for it. Alright. Did you see the actual 100 pound subwoofer mounting up and down? Because I did. And then I heard the door. Actually, I know it's rattling. This whiteboard has not been put through an SVS test yet. And it's gonna need, this is it. This is the life. This is the SVS, is the SVS to test the subwoofer for life. You go, let me show you this one scene. And they go, what the fuck is wrong with your house? Your house is fucked up. And that's, that's the whole story. Yeah, but now granted it's on soft like feet, but it's, uh, it's 92 pounds physically moving up and down. Make sure that the um, uh, this isn't getting hit by the actual driver, which is very possible. That was what was making that noise. Uh, I'm, I'm lost. Can I go back with this? Give me that. Give me that. We're 24 minutes into this review. Thank you. All right. Let's go to an actual like landing on the beach. Okay, Alexa, turn off the amplifiers. That should prevent most copyright flames because there won't be any front channels anymore. I do still have a center going though, which is rare for me. Easily fixable. There we go. So now, and this, keep in mind, that moved like that. Now I have the subwoofer jacked plus 10 in this because for music but it's at negative 10 on this which puts it to about zero and then so zero is like the perfect reference that a receiver will do and i'm playing a, D, a, a dts hd master audio stream so imagining this is that perfect reference that was at negative 26 decibels on with the amp control does anybody grasp what that is like so now it's at negative 20. Let me think, what else What else sounds really good? Uh, nothing, just the first 17 seconds of this is all you ever wanna play. I thought it was 17 seconds, I must be wrong. Okay. It's just everything. I'm clipping this. I uh, I can't demo this sub. What's it like? What's the piece? What's the cylindrical PC four thousand sub like? I can't can't record it. 
there's just the rattling there is freaking out. The microphone on this side is just clip, clip. I can lower the sensitivity there. I can't, I gotta lower the volume. I just, it's, it's constantly lower the volume now. I did the PB13 Ultra and I did the PB16 Ultra. And those are both tremendously powerful subs, but they're front firing and front ported, which means the whole box sort of does, actually the boxes are so heavy. Those are a hundred, the PB16 Ultra is 174 pounds. So this is like the GT3 RS of SVS subwoofers because it's only 92 pounds. And if you ever fired a rifle, like I have a Mosin and the Gaunt, a Mosin and the Gaunt is a big, heavy rifle. And the reason it's heavy is so when you pick it up and you fire the 7.62 by 54R, the 12 pounds of gun, when you fire it, holds back from breaking your shoulder because that's a powerful round. If you took a, a Mosin and the Gaunt round, the 7.62 and you put in a gun that weighed a pound and a half, you put in a little barrel, lightweight, you put it to your shoulder and you fired it, it would shatter your shoulder blade. This way is so little that there's no physical dampening on the box. Like the box is, here's another thing. A cylinder is way more structurally sound than a box. To make a box subwoofer, you've got to brace it because a, a flat plane wants to bend. There's a reason high pressure hoses are cylindrical and not square boxes. This could hold if you seal this right, you could use it as a compressed air pressure tank, right? This is a better structure. It's braced on the inside. I mean, one of the only real scary problems, and I mean, this is a scary problem, and I would not recommend taking that lid off, is that if you drop something down into your PC 4000 Ultra, or it's not even an Ultra, it's, it's gone. It'll just be down there somewhere. Hello? Hello? Please don't drop my flashlight. Please don't drop my flashlight. I believe the magnet on that driver also weighs 44 pounds. Just. Uh, so, combine the fact that the box is more rigid, that this, well, I could call it the box, but that the enclosure is more rigid than a square, the fact that it's not just doing its job with air. Like you, you can, people have skipped subwoofers and just bought um, base shakers that are actually just moving magnets that shake the floor. And those are an interesting concept. And they're really, if you can execute them properly, it's great. This is like that. Th this is a skull candy crusher subwoofer. Because while it is producing the air, you know, the, the same base you get out of any subwoofer because of air, the fact that it's jackhammering the fucking floor you watched it do it i watched it do it and then i had to stop because i don't know there's all these things my my ultra redneck speakers with phone blocks and speaker with another speaker on I'm, I'm worried about things in my apartment and clipping that microphone again so yeah yeet it could get yeeting here um dread let's just put on dread and then I'll jump to any random scene. Definitely not that scene, though. She where is that scene? Good. That's more people being set on fire than exploding exploding base. Is this after the... You know what scene I'm looking for. You know what scene. Oh, we're probably past that already. Actually, the very beginning of this movie has. <laughs> woof. How do I demonstrate the woof? Hold on. I need a paper towel. Zeus needs a paper towel. There's woof happening. So, the question will come up in the comments. So do you recommend this over a standard box subwoofer? 
this is way harder to fucking deal with because of the shaking because it's if you don't have concrete floors this might be a nightmare they make this the normal pc the, the square one the sealed one This is just like the soundtrack doing its thing. Skip forward five minutes. Oof. Yeah. It's doing its thing. Unless you know, you've watched this review. You know what the difference is. Oh, is it the same as a box? No. No, 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 no. This. A subwoofer will sh Oh, the subwoofer shook the house, and it will, from air pressure. This shakes the house from a combination of air pressure and physical mechanical hammering. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but that the guy is still working downstairs in the office. The lights are on. It's, it's fucking 1.25 a.m., by the way. That's why I decided to do these. And I'm pretty sure he's, I don't know, staring up at the ceiling, just going, <laughs> or he's died. Let me think. I need one more, one more, one more video, and then I'm going to call this review quits because we're actually doing pretty well. I can't say much more about it. It's, I like the look of it better than a box. Don't you agree? My cat, my cat didn't bother putting her claws to it, but if a cat did, this would be fucked up real fast and it's stapled in and you'd have to go and freaking ooh it would be bad i was considering like do i have to wrap it in cardboard honestly if you were an artist you could just wrap that take that fabric dimensions and redo it what's a good name what's a good one oblivion oblivion's got some good stuff it's another i feel like i'm i'm sucking tom cruise's d a little bit too hard though it's gotta be something else. Something, um, Fury Road. Yeah, all right, Fury Road. There's only so many things. Lone Survivors for Surround Sound. Logan is a great movie. Okay, Mad Max, Fury Road. L, M, L, M, Mad Max. Kick this on. Where's the remote? I need you. You good? I have to watch this, hold on. Yeah, this thing is breathing. My name is Max. Whoa. What happened? You can crush the lizard. Hey, Let him crush the lizard. Worming their way into the black matter of my brain. Help us, Max. You promised to help us. See, that's not... Where the hell is my space bar? That's not bass you're hearing anymore in this... You're just hearing everything in my apartment go... Shh. And yeah, my apartment's a little extra crowded today because I'm trying to ship things back out. That's yard sale, that just arrived. Those go back to the company, haven't even unboxed those subwoofers. Those are the little baby mica subwoofers. You think I'm gonna be impressed by a $180 subwoofer? It's gonna be real hard. Yeah, no, this is a winner. This is a winner, and I, I, I'd I hinted at SVS to, hey, maybe send me two, because then I would have put one here and one here, and I would have had them just left and right on my TV, and then my screen could have come down and been in front of them, and it would have looked super cool, and I would have not been able to review it. It just wouldn't have been able, I couldn't have reviewed it. This is a dumb, this is a dumb. Uh, I also hate the fact this is shiny plastic, or shiny painted, like you got the fingerprints all on it. I mean, you got to clean it. But, um, yeah, wow. Every time I, this is another reason I got this, the, this one. Because, how do you beat the PB16 Ultra? How do you, how do you beat it? I'll tell you how you beat it. By having the entire 100 pound subwoofer bounce up and down. And now this wins. Um, the 16 Ultra probably did more bass. Like, I mean, it's more money. It's a bigger driver. It's more power. But... You put this in a room and the PB16 Ultra in a room and you play the Edge of Tomorrow scene 
more shit will shake in the room with that. And sometimes that's all that matters. So this review is over. Uh, it's already like 35 minutes long. Uh, if you want to look up at this thing, uh, look up Ultimate HTPC on this channel. Because this is my Ultimate Home Theater PC keyboard, which is a cutting board and a Rapu and then a Dell. I went... It's exactly what it is. It's a tank. If I had to build a tank simulator, I'd have that. Because this is the, the floor would be like, when a tank's driving, like that's what that does. Explosions, you know, you front fire, that. So yeah, that wallpaper, which is, I like that one. Too bad, I'm gonna have to change it for the next review. The links to this, uh, the SVS site, the one year, is it one year warranty or is it the one month in-home trial? I think they, they still do the in-home trials if you're not sure. And uh, you better be sure. So you may want to take advantage of that. We'll link to that. And thanks for coming by. Patreon link in the upper right. Uh, HiFiGuides.com is being worked on in the description. And it will have a subwoofer section at some point. So you can check that out. And I think we're done here. Did I miss anything? No? Good. Comments below. I'll try to get to them all. Even, af even months after, I will still be able to see the ones that pop up. And, uh, yeah. Let's go out in a bang. Which bang? Uh, Mad Max upping his car. At 15. Ready? Ready?